Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number 593. This is their uh, roller latch. Okay, this is the one that has the uh, substantial stop to it. This is the one that is very typically used on uh, doors that don't do not have a provision on the frame for a stop. So an application of that would be an application for that would be something in the uh, something along a center hung pivot uh, would be appropriate uh, using uh, this hardware as uh, a means to stop it. So your scenario is going to be a cased opening frame with a uh, center hung pivot because the client wants the hardware as concealed as possible. Well, that door would swing in the opposite way of your intended uh, sw uh, uh, direction of swing unless you had an auxiliary stop. So you'd have a center hung pivot, you'd have both a means of stopping the door and a means of securing the door in the closed position. Then finally you would add a rockwood uh, concealed edge pole, you know, something like that uh, would be a typical setup where you would see this. Uh, can be installed obviously in the jam, very typically in the header as well. Uh, jam would be a better idea, I think, uh, if you've got very tall doors. Uh, or if you have pairs of doors, this would be very common to have up at the header. If you had a pair of these closet doors on concealed, on center hung pivots, where you're going to uh, bull nose the pull side vertical style of the door, pull the doors out, doors out towards you, you'd have one of these at the head of each, would be very common. So this is the 626 satin chrome finish is what this is. Very nice quality fit and finish from Rockwood. And that is a phrase synonymous with the name Rockwood. Good quality fit and finish. Available in several different architectural finishes. The fact that it's 626 means that the material is made of solid brass and that the finish is satin chrome. Screws are going to be included. The two big ones are obviously for the body. The two smaller ones are for the strike. Now let's talk about this thing. Uh, first of all, there is a link below this video to the product brochure, which shows everything related to this from Rockwood or its sister products. So on that page, you'll see your 590, which is a very common one, the double acting style, the 591, hollow metal door, a hollow metal frame application, 592, 593, 594. Industry standard part numbers that are there in terms of being common. If you're looking for the roller latch page from Rockwood, that's it talks about all of the uh, common items. There is then moving forward a link below this that uh, to the to what we're calling the tech sheet. It's a dimensional drawing of the item itself uh, which will give you uh, not only all of the dimensions and we'll cover just a couple of them here. Overall is four and a half. Overall width of the body is inch and a half. Pardon me of the uh, plate inch and a half. You know, just a general idea of the depth here, about inch and 13 sixteenths. Don't need to go over all the dimensions because that tech sheet literally shows everything. What I'll discuss is how you go about machining uh, for the item. You are going to most certainly install this into the frame. Uh, you're going to have two preparations for this. I like to call one the body and the other the plate. The body is always the prep that you'll do first, and you can see in the center of the tech sheet, uh, near the top half, you've got an inch and three quarter deep mortise from the edge of the door, pardon me, the, the face of the, the frame to the bottom of the mortise, installing it this way, here, back to here, inch and three quarter. Then you can look down in the lower left hand corner to get your seven eighths of an inch mortise depth, and that would give you the body preparation. And you will likely have to square those corners out a little bit on the inside. Then you will get into the plate preparation, which is going to be your inch and a half and then your four and a half inch. You're going to mortise it such that this, this is flush. You're going to obviously need to have the center line of this item compatible with the center line of the strike. You're going to want to view the drawing, uh, the two drawings at the bottom of the page uh, that will give you the relationship of where this needs to be mortised in relationship to the center line of the door. 
Well, I, forgive me. That is incorrect. The, you're going to mortise this in relationship to where the from the face of the door, okay, to the center line of the strike. Okay. So while it, it's not exactly the center line of the strike, your face of the uh, door back to the center line of the roller latch will be 9 sixteenths, and then you'll have an inch and a sixteenth wide prep for the plate. But it's, it, it's inch and an eighth wide, but it's going to hang off the face of the door uh, a sixteenth of an inch. If I was going to be laying this out, I would uh, be calculating where you know where my door was going to fall quite frankly I would calculate off of the frame I would install my strike uh, in the proper location based on the door being in the closed position and where it needs to rest in relationship to the face of the stop okay so I wouldn't lay this out until I had my door in the closed position and then I would lay it out based on the door making contact with the stop and then from there the other dimensions fall into place this is how I would go about doing it. Um, obviously using a router would be the preferred tool for doing this. If you had one to do uh, and no router, well you'd probably be chiseling that by hand then I suppose. Uh, this is adjustable and I like the Rockwood design uh, quite a bit uh, because you are able to uh, turn these screws and you're able to tailor the projection of the roller latch to loosen or increase the tension by which the force it takes to pull this over that roller latch to get the door open and closed. Okay. Really nice design here. And the way that that works is when you tighten these two adjusting screws that you can see there, you're going to uh, decrease the distance between these two uh, plates, forcing more compression on that spring, which will force, because they're thicker springs, force the roller latch out more but still enough spring power here that it will push it back down when you loosen it. Okay, Typical uh, 16, pardon me, uh, Rockwood 608 door bumpers are inserted here like you'd see in a hollow metal frame. A very common item. Rockwood is a comprehensive manufacturer of all things terminal auxiliary hardware related and as you can see from that link to the uh, roller latches how thorough they are. It's not only roller latches though, push and pull plates, kick plates, uh, overhead stops, an exquisite line of handmade pivots, uh, very nice uh, looking uh, and functioning material. Um, but then their entire series of architectural door poles under the RM uh, line, uh, that's comprehensive uh, as well. Any questions on the Rockwood number 593 overhead roller latch, la uh, st uh, strike, stop, or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us.